Welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Saili. In this session, we are going to cover the topic of how to use advanced logs or packet capture for troubleshooting. So the way RV is designed, we use the dashboard, the logs dashboard, and the analytics dashboard for troubleshooting. Packet capture should be our last resort. The dashboard give you, will give you information on um, app slowness, network performance problems, uh, backend server issues, and all of that. So with that, let's hop onto my demo and I'll walk you through it. So now I'm logged into my Avi GUI um, and we are going to take a look at this virtual service, the Avi demo virtual service. So let's go to the logs dashboard and I have opened it here. So with Avi, Avi logs in every transaction that happens through the load balancer. So if you can see, let's open one of these logs. Okay. All right, so by default, Avi propagates significant logs. Now, what are significant logs? So the system de decides something is different with this transaction and reports it for you to take a look at. Now, what we get in this, in this log entry, we see the client IP, where is the client coming from, and the location, uh, which TLS version they are using. Now, in, for this specific transaction, it took eight milliseconds to reach the load balancer, one milliseconds to reach the server. Server three responded. So we got a 200 okay. Now, what was the problem? So the system decided that we are getting high app response time. So all these blue links are, uh, are act as filters. So let's filter out all the applications, all the transactions, that had an app response time of 97 milliseconds or more. And see if we can tie it down to what the problem was. So we have already decided or already know now that the, the problem was slow app response times and not the network. So let's see if we can tie it down. Is it the URL that's the problem? Um, so we can click this right-hand panel with more options. So the path is spread across multiple paths. So that's that's not it. So let's take a look at the server IP address. And okay, so most of the traffic is tried down to this one server. So the dot two or two server is giving up high response time. So we can take a look at the server and dig down more deeper on what the problem was. So you can use this dashboard as your tool for troubleshooting, do a bunch of queries, filter out more, filter out the things that you want to take a look at. Now, in spite of all of this, if you want to do a packet capture, we do have that option available. You go to operations, traffic capture, and you select the virtual service you want to do a pack, cap, packet capture on. So I'm selecting our demo. You select what kind of traffic, uh, the duration, and do you want just a health monitor traffic, the data traffic, or both? You can you have that option here available. Now, what if your virtual service is sitting on two service engines or three service engines? This packet capture will be done across all the service engines. These service engines will do the capture both on client and server side, get that file and push it onto the controller. The controller will consolidate that into just one human readable file. And this is all done automatically. Now, let's start with this, cap this capture. Now, while doing this capture, if you decide to scale out or scale in the virtual service based on your environment, that won't be a problem. You don't have to do additional manual packet capture commands on 10 different locations. This will be done automatically by Avi. Because with Avi, you manage the you manage the application and not the devices. So with that, we end our session. Thank you for watching. Please check out other exciting videos on our application delivery how to scenes. Thank you.